You ready? Only if you are. Let's give it a shot. Sometimes your mind can impede it. Sometimes the I thought it was at the refrain. Oh, no. So, yeah, there's a break with a crescendo, and then I come in at your heart. Right. I did not know that. I'll practice up to that point, then. Cool. Um, I'm sorry. Do you mind if we take a couple minutes, like, a quick break? Yeah. I'm sorry I interrupted. No, it's okay. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sorry. How's it going in there? All right. Now, where were we? Nowhere. No, come on, you've been stuck on this girl for weeks. It's time to take action. Or we could just sit back and not. You can't hide from your problems on a couch, Ricardo. Yeah, you're right, they'll find me there. You gotta face them and be direct. Come on, just call and ask her out. You're overcomplicating a simple issue. No, you're simplifying a complex issue. How? Because I like her and she doesn't like me. I can't change that. You also don't know that. You can't say no for her. Yes, I can, all right? I have. Oh my gosh. Look, it's not that I... It's just that... I'm not her type. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, people don't actually have types. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Now take out your phone, dial her number, and say, will you go out with me? What if it goes to voicemail? Then you just... What if her phone's turned off? Well, then if her phone's turned off, you rush from your house by a great big bushel of roses, sprint to her home, knock on the door, and kiss her right smack on the lips. Unless, of course, someone else answers the door, in which case you should probably restrain yourself. Steve, don't you have a paper to work on? I'm on break. Also, not to disagree with your previous statement, but to disagree with your previous statement, people absolutely have types. No, they don't. They just have a misconception of who they think they should be with. And then they wake up to reality one day and realize it's hogwash. Yeah, I'm gonna look this up. Look what up? Human types. Ah, here we go. Types of men. Mr. Cheater. Mr. Parasite. Mr. Narcissist. Wait, what website are you on? The Distrusting Dame. You know what, you know what, that's no good. Let me, let me find a different one. Uh, here we go. Guy types. Listen, listen, Ricardo. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you're one of these. Maybe. The hipster. I don't, I don't think so. The dad. I hope not. The bro. Okay. The hipster bro. I believe that's a hybrid between the hipster and the bro. You know, a hipster and a bro get together and, you know. Make love. Wait, would the would the hipster be the woman and the, the bro would be the guy or Oh come on, don't ask stupid questions. Uh, let's, let's keep looking. Uh, types. Granola. What does that mean? Maybe the person also has a food block and just got kind of mixed up. Either that or it's a, it's a metaphorical granola, a nutritional person, nourishing for the soul. Makes sense actually. No no no, I've actually heard of this. I think it has to do with physical appearance. Does the person Look like a granola farm? Tell me, Zeta, are you a hipster bro woman or are you more of a granola kind of gal? I'm sorry? What kind of men do you like? Good, honest guys who treat everyone with respect. No. Okay, see, that's not what we meant. Let's get physical. What do you look for type wise, my man? I mean, I guess I like guys who are taller than me. See? There you go. Type. <laughs> And by the way, Zeta, if you're curious, the men's basketball team practices weekdays between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna leave on that note. No, no, wait a minute. I didn't mean that bad. I'm going to pick up a late dinner and I'll be back to practice with you later. All right, I'm actually gonna grab some music in a little bit, so if you're back before me, just knock. Got it. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Zeta. Bye, Zeta. Bye, Zeta. Bye, Zeta. So what's this woman's type? The one you like? All-American. Oh. Well, 
depending on how progressive she is, you might be exactly what she's looking for. Where does she stand politically? I don't, I don't know. Steve, why don't you go work on your paper? I would, but I actually just remembered that the whole reason I came out here was to tell Ricardo about an idea my research led to. It'll help him with the woman! Why don't you tell him that later? Because I'd rather do it now. Shouldn't you work on your paper right now? Yes, but you can't rush these things. Isn't it due at midnight? Yes. Then I think you should rush this thing. I think you should rush this thing. You know what type you are? You're the dad type. And I don't mean that in a good way. I don't know what his research has led up to, but it's simple. Just take your phone out and call her and ask her out. The worst that can happen is she says no. Yeah, and that's bad. No, it's not. You'll be able to move on. Just call and ask her out. I need to go grab some music, so just call her before I get back. David, I'm not her type. Come on, people don't have types. Look at me and Casey. She wasn't at all what I thought I wanted. Yeah, and you and Casey never dated. Yeah, you're right. How you doing? Can I help you? No, but I think I can help you. You say this woman's not your type, yes? No, I said I'm not her type. Right, that's what I meant. You're not her type. So, what you need is an edge. And I think I found one. Did you? Yes, so for this paper I'm working on, I'm writing on behavioral patterns in other species. To do some background research, I watched this nature documentary on courtship practices and mating rituals, if you will, uh, on different animals. And in that video, they showed the flame bowerbird. And these male bowerbirds, to impress the lady, Bowers will build these elaborate stages out of sticks and twigs and berries, and then, with the lady bowerbird present, put on a show. A show? Yes, within and around this little stage structure, they dance and shimmy and shake and expand their pupils and make this deep, captivating sound within their throat, and wow! I mean, and it works! These lady bowers, they just fall head over heels or talons or, uh, you know, claws or, uh, you know, little things, you know, that birds have. And then they just, they, wazzah! And I was thinking, we could do something along these lines with you and this girl. So if I'm following correctly, mm -hmm. you want me to invite her out somewhere, expand my pupils, dance, shake and shimmy, and make a noise with my throat. A deep, captivating sound within your throat, yes. That doesn't make sense. Well, it does make sense in nature. It works for the male bowers. But we're not birds. No, we're not. And you don't have feathers, I think. And you can't make a stage of sticks and twigs and berries. But we can take inspiration from the animal kingdom and adapt. You can take this wall and drape a great big American flag over it, since this woman likes all Americans, bring her over here, and then just go with it. I guarantee you, you'll be the first person to ever ask her out in this way. I guarantee you that I will also be the first person to ask her out that she's called an ambulance for. Hi, Zeta. Hey. I'm actually glad you're here. I have a question for you. Oh? Yes, now bear in mind, this is purely hypothetical. I don't actually have any interest in pursuing you romantically. Darn. Okay, right, let me ask you this. What would you do if I were to invite you over here, then start dancing around while wearing brightly colored clothes and making deep, captivating sounds from my throat? I'd probably check to make sure you weren't on LSD or something. I don't know. Right, right, but that's you. What about what about other women? Don't you think in a way they might find it alluring more attractive? Well, that depends on what planet they're from. Earth. Oh, well, in that case, maybe, depending on the woman, no. I'm sorry, I have to be honest. No. Are you planning on trying this with a woman? <laughs> no. Ricardo is. No, I'm not. 
He just wants me to try it, but I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. That's why you're gonna give this a shot. No, he's gonna get hit over the head with a shoe. No, I'm trying to help him win over this girl. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I think I think I can actually change you guys' minds about this. I've actually see I've seen this documentary twice because <laughs> it's interesting. And I know that I know the dance pretty well. So Zeta, if you could just move and sit right over here, you're gonna be the you're gonna be the female battle bird. I'm gonna be the male. And Ricardo, you can just you know you can just watch and decide if this is something you wanna do. Yeah. Um, now, but bear in mind, bear in mind, this is just what the first do. So in reality, it, you probably just wanna take inspiration and, and adapt. You got it. Got Good. It. Okay. Right, let's do this. Just one minute. One minute. Guess. I'm trying to help Ricardo on how to ask out this girl. You still haven't done that? No, I was thinking that maybe I would not. Come on, Let's step outside. <sighs> so that really doesn't impress you, huh? No, you know, it was interesting. Don't patronize me. It's a little cold out. Yeah, I should sure roll my sleeve down. So I was thinking about a Picker Nola thing on the way back here. It really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Steve for you. David, why do you insist so much on me asking this girl out? I mean, I get that it will probably work for you, but that doesn't mean it will work for me. So, you know, we, uh, we mentioned Casey earlier. I, I liked her, Ricardo. I liked her a lot. I can't even tell you how much I... I mean, we, we worked together forever and things built up and for certain reasons, I never acted on it. And now, every day I wish I had. I'm not telling you to go for it because I asked a woman out. I'm telling you to go for it because I didn't. You have a phone call to make. Oh, and by the way, people don't have types. But if they did, you're as American as they get.
Hi, um, Catherine, I have a question. <sighs> they grow up so fast, don't they? He's older than you. Hmm, by what, a month? By a year. Well, it's getting late and we have a lot of practicing to do. Okay, one second. Crap! I just realized something. What? It's midnight. <laughs>